Hello everybody and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Oblivion. In the last episode, we brought this game to its knees. We killed this lady in broad daylight and nobody cares. Nobody can see us. Nobody can stop us. <laughs> now, I've run into a weird problem in that if I talk to a guard... I can't actually pay my fine, even though I have enough money to do so. And I don't know why that is. Because look, I have 21,000 gold right there. See? 21,000. If I talk to the guard... Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. My bounty is 11,000. I have 21,000. Where is the... Pay... The... the Where's the, the pay the bounty thing? Why can't I... Why? So I'm just gonna... Uh, then pay with your blood! Resist. He, I mean, he can't see me, so he can't... They... <laughs> hey, they, they can't see me, so they can't... They can't catch me. <laughs> so whatever. So I run into that issue. Anyway. Uh, I want to break this game just a little bit more before we get on to doing other things. Just a little. Just a little bit more. And to do that, I need to go in here. Stupid bug door. A pleasure to speak with you. I want to buy... Have a look around. You won't find uh, better prices in all Tamriel. I want this for later, but I can't use it yet. It'd be nice if I could find something better. But I want this, the voice of Rapture. Tell your... That will help me break the dialogue tree minigame. So, so you know, in order to, like... Talk to shopkeepers and stuff to get a better price, or to convince people to tell you secrets that they might not tell you normally. You have to open this Please, stupid go on conversation speechcraft mini game, and it's dumb. It's really, really stupid. <laughs> and I wow. hate it. We're going to break it so that we never ever have to do that. First, we have to go home. Oh, I can't. Because they're looking for me, I can't teleport, even though they're never going to find me. See, look, here's some guards right here. Never going to find me. Well met. Look, there's a beggar woman Meetings. right there, Simplicity of the Something Slow. I can do for you. And now she's dead. They're never going to find me. <laughs> oh, look. She just keeled over. Well, isn't that sad? Never going to find me. <laughs> so whatever. Was here a second ago. No, he wasn't. Bye bye. All right, we should be far away enough now. Let's go home. All right, so let's get to my little spellcrafty thing and break the speechcraft system. And then there are still a few ways that I can break the game further, but I can't do them at low level. I have to be higher level. I believe I have to be at least level 10, and I'm only level four. All right, charm. Touch magnitude 100 for two seconds. Super charm. And there you go. Did it. And the, uh, that system is now totally broken. I'll put it, I'll put it on seven. Replace that one. All right. 
Now then, what is my most powerful summon ability? Summon Ghost. Well, I mean, summon Scamp, but I'm going for the Necromancer thing. Alrighty. Now I just have to decide what I want to do. There are a few things I can do. I could just go ahead and finish up the, um, the arena. Just do that. Yeah, sure, why not? But before I do that, I want to make another spell. Something to help me when, um, my normal spell just isn't enough to kill them. My, my soul drain isn't enough. Let's go with... Shock touch. Can I do that? I can. What if I do that? Does it become 50? Yeah, it does. Boo. I don't know. That seems kind of lame. What if I fire damaged? On target area. Oh no, that's way too much. Well, I already made a spell like that, though. I'll just leave it right now. I'm sure this will be enough. I've got plenty of black soul gems. Actually, that's a question. Can I duplicate Black Soul Gems that have a soul in them? I haven't even tried doing that on this save yet. Well, I've duplicated them, but do they have souls? No. No, they don't. In fact, I think I lost a soul doing that. Well, well, whatever. It's fine. Let's, let's do that. Let's go finish up the arena. Now, the downside of the arena is that I am going to have to take off my robes. Which means I am going to be partially visible. <laughs> now, I could bypass that by getting some boots. Because I believe I am allowed to wear shoes, but I might not be. Let's see. Nah, the raiment covers shoes. What about pants? Nope, can't wear pants. Me. <laughs> so yeah, I I am going to have to be partially visible, which stinks. Oh, no. How can I fix this? Oh, I think I know. I know how to fix this. And I know what we're going to do next. We are going to... The Waterfront District. Ugh. Little laggy. Uh, this way. Ugh, I need to make that speed spell. But I need to get Fortify Attribute. It's one of the spells I want to make, but I need Fortify Attribute at a level I can actually cast it. Which I, I don't yet. So I'm going to go to the waterfront district, and then I have to go back here. This is what we're doing, by the way. 
Wanted, the Gray Fox, wanted for theft, embezzlement, forgery, pickpocketing, counterfeiting, burglary, conspiracy to commit theft, grand larceny, tax evasion, slander, fraud, perfidy, and impertinence. Description, wears a gray cloak that conceals his appearance, presumed male and colovian, height between five and six feet, normal weight, hair, and eye color unknown. Any citizen with information should contact the Imperial Watch. Watch Captain Hieronymus Lex. We are going to speak to the Thieves Guild. Because if we can join the Thieves Guild, then we can get our debt erased. And if we can get our debt erased, a lot of things become easier for us. What? Good day. So we need to wait until midnight. I know you. He is the King of Thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our guild master, although he would deny that title. Uh, I want to join the Thieves Guild. Everyone is here. Let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild is not right. a myth. We are followers of the Grey Fox, and I am his doyen. What's a doyen? By finding me, you have passed the first test. Excellent. It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. That's not fair. Ah, shush. That's you just know you'll lose. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited oh, to... Oh, without killing him. That's no fun. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise. It's somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. Oh. Maybe thieves, but we're not murderers. That's a matter of opinion. Fine. Yes. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Whatever. Get out of here. How many lockpicks do I have? I hope I have enough. I have 99. That'll do. Wow, she is off like a shot. You. I'm so hungry. Um, Amantia Selectus, please. I've had of him. What's it worth to you? Uh, five coins. Oh, you are most generous. <laughs> He lives in the temple district on the far east side. Uh, he's a, an early riser, uh, usually up by sunrise. Alright, goodbye. Blessings of Mr. Alright, now my reticle is telling me exactly where to go. Of course, she's just running straight there, so I could just follow her. But she is going very quickly. Whee! Ha! <laughs> she got a little stuck. Following, following, following. She doesn't even know I'm behind her. Haha. Ha. 
I have beaten Mithendril and Amusai to Amantius Electus's diary. Now to get back to Armand in the Garden of Doth. I'll have to wait until midnight when he's there. Ha ha! Running, 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 running. Alright, if I'm fast enough, maybe he'll still be there by the time I get back. That'd be good. Otherwise, I'll just have to wait a day. Alright, almost there, almost there, almost there. Ha! He hasn't even... Oh my god, he's so slow. Confused? No, I'm done. Congratulations! You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves' Guild. Heck yeah! You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster, the Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. Okay. What are these rules? First, never steal from another member of the Guild. Makes sense. Second, never kill anyone on the job. Oh. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. That won't be hard. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. All right, let's pay off my fines and, fines and bounty. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. All right, um... I'll pay off my fines. Consider it done. I will get rid of all your criminal warrants. <laughs> there are quite a lot of them. <laughs> Shadow hide. Excellent. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, back to the arena. We might actually do the Thieves' Guild at some point. Uh, I really don't have a problem with doing that. We could probably... Uh, Actually, yeah, the Thieves' Guild... Here's the thing. Remember when I said that a lot of things have timed things to do? The Thieves' Guild and the Fighters' Guild are the two that... Well, the Fighters' Guild, actually, you want to be doing early. A lot of their uh, rewards are better early, except for one specific quest, and it just gets you a ring, and I don't care. Uh, the Thieves' Guild... While it does have some leveled stuff, it's all not important little things that don't matter. So, uh, if I wanted to do this the quote-unquote right way, I would do the Fighters Guild first, and then I would pause at a certain quest and come do the Thieves Guild, and I would do the Thieves Guild all the way through, and then continue the Fighters Guild all the way through. But I'm not really interested in doing things the quote-unquote right way, as you no doubt have noticed. <laughs> so I don't know what um, thing to do. What I might do is just roll a dice. I'll, I'll get the... Uh, the Fighters Guild, Mage Guild. Uh, the Assassin's Guild, which I could also join. Which is the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, the Thieves' Guild. Fighters' Guild, Mage Guild, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves' Guild. Uh, oh god, there's more. My brain. Uh, I guess it would then be side quest and main quest. So, like, do the little side quests or just do the main quest. That would be a 1d6. And I, I do kind of like the idea of the main quest being the six on that dice. So let's wait eight hours. So I think I'll do that at the end of this video. We'll do some more 
arena stuff just for a little bit, and then when it's time to end the episode, I'll roll that dice, and that'll decide what we what we do from here. So first, I've got to equip my arena raiment. That raiment's getting a little tight on you, brawler. I think you need some exercise. What do you say? Ready for a match? Yes, I am. All right, brawler. This next match is going to be a challenge. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Oh. They're twins, actually. You gotta take them both out. Now get in there and show those tree climbers who's boss. Can do. Didn't I do this in a previous episode? I'm getting a little bit of deja vu. I really do like that bloody Welcome hallway, though. To the arena. The blood, blood. Can the blue team's blood, blood, blood. Possibly hope to defeat the yellow <laughs> team's wood elf twins. I don't know, will I? Let's find out. All right, come on, come on, come on. Uh, summon. Whoa! Dead. Ow. Haha. -ha. I need to I need to drink a potion. Being being seen is difficult. Ooh. She got me right in the chest. Ow. Damn. Oh. Oh no, she got me. She got <laughs> no. Oh. No wonder that hurt. Well, that's an opportunity to practice my healing skills, I guess. I need to uh, give my uh, staff some charge. Grand Soldier. Bam. Ah, those girls didn't stand a chance. Good job, Brawler. Here's your take. One more match and you'll advance again. Picky nose, picky nose, picky nose. You beating those twins is a good sign. You got a lot of fight in you. Let me know when you're ready to get bloody again. I am. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Your next opponent is a Khajiit. Not one of the quick, jumpy ones, either. This cat goes in heavy, usually with an axe. Now go get him. I'll go get him. I will, I will, I will, I will. I'll go get him. All right, bring it on. People of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. The winner of this match will advance to the rank of Bloodletter. <laughs> Bloodletter. The yellow Good team title. or the blue team? Let's find out. Good people. And dead. We have a winner. <laughs> All hail the combatant I did it. from the blue Wee. team. I did it. From the Yay. blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earn it. Okay. I actually wonder if I use stealth if it would work, because chameleon, the intended use for chameleon is just to assist in stealth. I actually okay, don't know if so that would work in the fight. arena. Your new title is Bloodletter. You're getting into the real game now, kid. More nose, gold for nose, more blood. Nose, nose, don't nose. disappoint me. More. You made it to Bloodletter, which is more than I can say for most people who step picky into nose, that arena. Nose, Keep it nose, up. Picky nose, picky nose. Next. The next opponent is a red guard. I've seen him fight with both a mace and a sword, so be ready for either one. Okay. And up and up and up and up. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. 
There's nothing better than watching two eager bloodletters fighting to the death for fame and glory. Yes. But enough talk. Let the battle begin. Okay, yeah, he sees me. Dead. We have a winner. All hail the combatant Ooh, from the blue team. Did. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. Yeah. That was a good fight, Bloodletter. You really showed that Red Guard who's boss. Here's your take. Now go clean yourself up. Picky nose, picky nose, picky nose, picky nose. Uh, one more. Come on, Bloodletter. Don't lose your momentum now. Keep fighting. I am ready for a match. Your next opponent wears a heavy raiment, but attacks with a short sword. She's like a heavily armored wasp and has the temper to match. Careful. I'm pretty sure she'll die in two hits. Right, bring it on. Of the Imperial City. Welcome to the arena. You came to watch these two bloodletters do what they do best, and they're dying to prove their worth. So let the bloodletting begin. Yeah. Let's get this over with. Hey. There you go. <laughs> we have a winner. Yeah. All hail the combatant from the blue team. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. All right, that'll do. Okay, so you killed the Breton. Don't get a big head. Here's your payout. Too late. All right, I'm done with this. Just for right now. I do think I need to get a little stronger. I need to get a new level death spell. To do that, I think I might have to train up my restoration a bit. Ugh. 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 <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let's go back home. Back to my sanctuary. All right, so we are now at a crossroads. In order to do more world-destroying breaking of the fabric of reality in order to better ourselves and prepare ourselves to kill everyone and everything. We need to decide what we need to do next. We need to get stronger, and that means we have some options. So, I'm going to Alt-Tab here. Open up notepad. Ah, let's resize that. Oh, no wonder it's so large. Oh, my gosh. There we go. So, uh, let's see, we got one, what will one be? One will be side quests, two is Mage's Guild, three is Fighter's Guild, four 
for will be the Thieves Guild. Five will be the Dark Brotherhood. And six will be the main quest. Right. Let us roll a 1d6. Where's my dice? Hold on, my dice is over there just out of reach. God dang it. Let's roll the dice. I don't know if that's actually visible. Let's make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> and roll the dice. It is a four. We're doing the Thieves Guild. All right, and we can just do the Thieves Guild all the way through, so we don't even have to... We don't have to stop for anything. As far as I know. Unless it gets too hard. So, in order to prepare for the Thieves Guild, I'm going to duplicate myself a bunch more lockpicks, because I'm probably going to need a couple hundred. So, I'll do that off screen, and in the next episode, we will start messing around with the Thieves Guild. Why can't I save? There we go. Save. Goodbye, everybody. You can be a goody two shoes till the end of your days. You can listen to them say crime never pays. You can follow every law and fear the big black bat. But why would you want to? Huh, where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? So smile, darn you smile. Everybody loves to grin. Follow my lead, recite my creed, and smile, darn you smile.